Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Melasma, vitiligo, uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, tinea versicolor, or solar lentigenes? A 28-year-old pregnant woman in her second trimester presents with a brownish hyperpigmented patches on her cheeks, forehead, and upper lip. She states that these changes have occurred gradually over the past few weeks, and she has no other significant medical history. Okay, so this just kind of seems very, um, uh, this is a common, I believe, symptom of melasma. It's called uh, the mask of pregnancy is kind of what I think about. Um, and so I do not believe it's tinea versicolor. I think that causes hyperpigmentation on, like, on the, on, or hyper or hyperpigmentation on the, on ran random places, not just specifically the cheeks and the face. Uh, but LIGO is the um, hypopigmentation, not hyperpigmentation. Uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. She has no other significant medical history, no no sicknesses that we know of. And so I don't think that could be um, at least brought, make sense. And then solar lentigenes, I really don't know what that is, okay. um, but I'm pretty confident it's melasma. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, one of the key things I think now, you know, you did a good job here that you're, you're relating it to kind of the patient, right? I think that's one of the key things here because I'm, um, you know, then these answer choices, a lot of these can be hyperpigmentation, right? But the, the one that occurs mainly in pregnancy is melasma. So you got to pick kind of this mask of pregnancy, right? But vitiligo, that's an autoimmune thing. It's depigmentation, right? Destruction of melasma. So it's turning from, you know, dark skin to lighter skin, mm -hmm. right? Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, it can happen after acne or eczema where you get a little bit um, darker skin, kind of where it's inflamed, tinea vesicular, as you know, right, fungal infection, right, melasma, um, hypo and hyperpigment scaly patches on the trunks and the extremities. Um, and you treat that with some shampoos and things like that, that you can do solar lentigenes, right? This is sunspots or age spots. Okay. You, oh. I, I want you to remember that because they do sometimes test this because this is just a fancy medical term, right? But it's really just sunspots or age spots and they're benign pigmentations kind of where, um, you have sun exposure and as you get older, they hyperpigment. So, okay. And you can see that in older, you know, kind of bad. Yeah, freckles, so it's right? not be makes sense of a 28 year old pregnant woman. Exactly. Exactly.